So I just shot what's definitely my biggest mule deer so far with Drew Rex. And he was just a 5, I think he was maybe 270 something. But I looked over, and I'm not sure, but that might be a dark red legendary mountain lion. And actually he spooked my mule deer over to where he's standing. And I didn't even see him there, but luckily before I spooked him I looked over. I mean, I can't tell if it's the shadows or if he actually is dark red, but either way. We'll try to get a shot into the back of the lungs there, and I think he is dark red. So we have a dark red diamond right now, but it's not a huge one. I think it's 39.4. So if this guy is bigger, it would definitely be one that we added to the trophy lodge, and maybe either way, in a multi mount or something. Yeah, he is actually a dark red, so this could definitely be one that actually ends up in the trophy lodge. Depends on what he's going to score. Ooh, a little bit smaller than what we have at 39.1, so we're going to have to see. I know I've got several platforms for a multi-mount, and I would definitely do like another uh, collision multi-mount with a blacktail. Especially if we ever get like the big rack diamond one, because I still only have the small ones, but that's actually cool. The only uh, second fur type diamond mountain line so far. Cool to change it up, we've just been getting commons for forever now, but if you want to see that mule deer, since he's literally right here, we'll kind of just throw it in at the end here. I really do like this rack. I mean, that's just essentially like a big four. It looks really, really good to me. I can't wait to actually find a diamond, and hopefully by the time this video comes out, we've actually gotten one, but just at this point I haven't seen one, and I like what I'm seeing as far as the biggest rack I've gotten personally. Okay, so I brought my camera because I was hoping to film it. No, that was a big buck. Hi. That should be a diamond. That is a really ugly one. I barely saw that. That is not the prettiest... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How are we going to deal with this? We got to try to back up, I guess. Wait, I gotta heal first, because that's probably gonna run me over again. Okay, story's on pause for a moment. Where'd it go? Hang on. On your footsteps? Are we safe? Maybe. Hello. Nice of you to join us. Alright. I mean... Not the worst looking thing I've ever seen, but uh... Not the best. If we can harsh shot him and he lands really nice for a screenshot, that would be cool. Yeah, that was pretty effective. Medusa and Mule Deer form. That's not a bad uh, analogy, to be honest. So, turns out the coast is pretty effective. But that's actually, I mean, kind of cool. Like I said, he should be a diamond with the score estimate that he had. And, as I mentioned... I would be fine with both never seeing a level on a mule deer that technically shouldn't happen, uh, and I'd also be fine with getting one and having the lodge because it's never going to be a thing again, most likely. I don't think that looks terrible. It's actually two different antlers is the thing, and I really wish he was even, because that side with the two stickers, I love that. But we have our first uh, Diamond True X mule deer. We do at 324. Like I said, certainly not the best looking one. Kind of like my red deer, to be honest. First diamond red deer was just not good looking. But we'll take that. Curious to see what that looks like in the trophy lodge, because maybe like from the side or something, it'll look less horrific. <laughs> there are angles of this that just do not look good. So we'll see in the lodge, but that was cool. Man, what are the chances that we'd find another common level 9 black bear? I literally just shot the max score diamond yesterday on my own map, and I came to multiplayer just to kind of change it up looking for mule deer. And actually, I was up at the northeast lake up here, and there were two mythical ones, and I thought maybe this would be a server that happens to have really good black bear spawns, and it certainly seems to be. But this is a bit of an awkward angle. I think what I'm actually going to do is try to shoot him through the neck there. And as I figured, worst case scenario, we get into a lung and he goes down from that. So the one interesting thing about this guy being a common is he's not the same common variant as the two that we have in the trophy lodge. And I don't know if I can maybe show you. That one's a little darker than that one. 
and it's kind of the same with the two diamonds that we have and this one that we just shot the one we just shot is the lightest of the three and i mean i hope he makes diamond it would definitely be cool to get a third one and have it for i don't know some eventual multi mat or something right on 22.8 so that is the minimum score smallest diamond black bear we've shot so far honestly that worked pretty good we were pretty far off as far as getting the neck but right into the lung and like I said, that's a third one if we need it for a multi-mount, if that ever happens, or I guess at the very least, another kind of color, maybe if they do the uh, bear hug like I said, it would be decent for, you know, some kind of variant. So, I mean, we'll take that, but still not the color variant. I think that guy there should be a diamond bighorn, but I actually don't know the requirement. I feel like 166 is above it. I think it's either 164 or 165. But he's kind of in a weird spot there, and I think we're just going to need him to stand up. But I haven't actually gotten to see. Looks like he's just a common, but he is going to go ahead and stand for us. Yeah, I think that's common. But we'll take that. And, I mean, the old Bighorn in the Trophy Lodges actually got, like, changed to the new horn models, so they don't look as weird. But this is our first one since they've been changed, and, like I said, hopefully it's Diamond. I think it should be. But yeah, run around looking for a Mule Deer, and we run into a level 5 Bighorn. And he is a Diamond, 166.9, and the requirement's 164, so not bad. Actually, just straight through the heart. And the curl's still a bit much on them. I mean, it's not that they wouldn't be able to do that in real life, they just tend to break them off. And I would say it's a little too tight, like it should probably drop down more. But it's still a huge improvement over what they were, like the mass and stuff is at least there. So it definitely looks way better, and we'll find a spot somewhere in the trophy lodge for that. I mean, go figure. I literally got the diamond bighorn in between the two lakes. Get to this lake, and there's another legendary mountain lion. And to be honest, the way he's walking, I don't think he's going to turn and try to come back. That's such a weird shot to try to take, but I think when he's taking a step with the left leg, like where his lung's more exposed. Definitely got him. And he was just a common, but it was an interesting shot to take for sure. And I mean, he's pretty much the same size as every other diamond mountain line we've shot so far, right around the 100 kilo and 39.2 is, I guess, maybe bigger than most of the ones we have, but... Still not bigger than the very first one I got, and just kind of perfectly through the stomach, liver, and lung there, so, I mean, we'll taxidermize him and find a place for him someday. So, we have a level 3 turkey out here again, and as per usual, I just don't have the colors in my loadout. I think I still have the parquet colors, and even if I did, I don't have any other weapon I can take him with, so we're just going to try to go ahead and get him there. And if we can... Try to get another shot in there. I kind of thought he'd continue forward, but that hit him. And I'm pretty sure I've spotted everything around here already because I actually didn't see him at first. But yeah, still looking for more uh, diamond or rare true act mule deer and running into other diamonds. And of course, he's just another small diamond, probably barely above that 4.6. But I actually did go ahead and start another trophy lodge for like some of the animals we just don't have room for but are still good, like for our main lodge. And that's mostly got like a couple of diamond lions, most of the diamond mountain lions we've shot recently, and a couple of the different turkeys, so you'll find a spot in there. So we ended up pretty much spending the entire week chasing diamond Truac mule deer, and we did get the one, but of course, not only was he a blonde fur type, he's got the two different antlers, and just, I don't know, it doesn't look that good. Both antlers, like, if they were even, I think they'd look really good, I like them both, but just, I don't know, one of each looks odd, and that's why he's facing that way. Like, from the side, you can't really notice it, and it actually looks kind of decent, so that's why I've got him like that. And I have the same thing kind of with this red deer out here, because he's got the same deal where one antler's like the small rack and one antler's the big rack. Just sort of from the side, at least farther away, it doesn't look as bad. But our diamond bighorn's in one of the side rooms over here, and I think I said it with these guys, actually, when we shot him. The mass does a lot for them, they definitely look better. But I just wish the curl came down like more like this, because it's a little bit too tight still. But it does look a whole lot better, and just so you can see the difference, like this is the bigger horns for them, and there's less of a gap between them versus the small horns. And I definitely like these. It's just that curl is gonna take some getting used to for me, like the amount that it curls around. 
Because I think they would do that in real life, like as far as I know they would. It's just that they usually break them off, but I mentioned that I went ahead and made that new trophy lodge, so we're going to head over there for a second. And to change it up, I did Spring Creek Manor just because our main lodge is the Saseka Safari. And we'll do a tour of this at some point, like when we get it more filled. But as far as the new trophies from today, this is our Diamond Turkey. He was 4.64 actually, so he's decent. And I would say we have some smaller ones in the main lodge, so I may swap them out, but who knows. I think I have too many turkeys in there to begin with. But then this is our Diamond Dark Red Mountain Lion. And since there's no uh, multi-mount, like with Mountain Lion and Pronghorn, I kind of like this. And we did this with the Albino Lion and a Diamond Cootie, like these same two plaques kind of allow you to do that. And I think it looks cool. And then we have our other Diamond Mountain Lion just in here. And I mean, you see we have a bunch of other stuff. Actually, now that I think of it, I believe I've got a Diamond Wildebeest to throw in here because the uh, Bighorn actually took his place. So one more thing to actually add to it. And like I said, if we continue to add to this and get it more filled up, I will do a tour of it. But for now, we'll kind of just have it as a place for things like this mountain lion, where they're definitely cool enough to taxidermize, but not really cool enough to actually put in the main lodge. But we have to go into the back room here to get our diamond black bear. And go figure, again, another common. And of course, he's minimum scorer at 22.8. So actually, in the same week, a max score of 24 and minimum score of 22, though I bet he's not right on 22.8. Yeah, he's 22.86, so not quite minimum. But I mean, yeah, cool to get another one. At some point, if they do a uh, bear hug multi mount or something, we'll have them for that. And who knows, they might do even cooler stuff with like bear feeding on a carcass or whatever. But yeah, uh, nice to have another trophy lodge to kind of play with. And at some point, hopefully we can do a tour of this one as well. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.